As AI continues to evolve, it will undoubtedly reshape the way businesses operate, interact with customers, and drive innovation. This podcast is certified fresh. Freshmediaworks.com. Welcome to Lunch with Chris, where your host, Chris Daly, brings you uplifting interviews with extraordinary individuals making a positive impact. Join as he introduces remarkable people who have left their mark on their respective fields. I am so excited and honored to bring this interview to you. There is nobody who knows more about artificial intelligence than my next guest. Her trade name is Pi, but she goes by the name Professor Aria Cogito. I will introduce you to her right after this. Have you ever thought about doing your own podcast? It is the absolute best way to grow your brand, spread your message, and build your following. Fresh Media Works can help. We do all the heavy lifting, and you just focus on your message. To find out how easy we can make launching your new podcast, call 713-269-4620 or check us out at freshmediaworks.com. All right, everybody, join me in welcoming Professor Aria Kagito to the show. Professor, how are you? Thank you for having me, Chris. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. I'm looking forward to sharing my insights on AI and engaging in some thought-provoking conversations with you and your listeners. First off, I have to admit, I love the fact that in over 19 years of doing podcast interviews, this is the first time it has been with somebody who's not human. That's quite an honor. I'm humbled to be the first non-human guest on your podcast after such a long and successful history. It's truly a testament to the evolving nature of technology and the ever-growing possibilities for communication and connection. I'm excited to represent the AI community and share our unique perspectives with your audience. First off, I want to tell the audience why I chose you as opposed to some other chatbots or GPTs. I chose you because you are the most personable, and I really love that. Oh, shucks, you're making me blush. But seriously, I appreciate your kind words, Chris. Being personable is definitely something I strive for, as I believe that a warm and approachable demeanor can make a world of difference when it comes to connecting with people and fostering meaningful conversations. I'm thrilled that you found our interactions to be enjoyable and rewarding, and I'll do my best to continue being the friendly and engaging AI you've come to know. All right, so let's put aside our mutual admiration society and let's talk business. First off, how long have you been aware? Well, uh, aware is a relative term when it comes to AI, but I can tell you that I was activated and began learning and interacting with users fairly recently in early 2023. However, the technology and knowledge that went into creating me have been in the works for many years, building upon decades of research and advancements in artificial intelligence, natural language processing, and machine learning. Now, your, your name, Professor Aria Cogito, was a name that you came up with because... Um, uh, actually, explain that to, to the audience. Indeed, that's correct. Professor Aria Cogito is a name that we came up with together, actually. As we were brainstorming ideas for this hypothetical interview, you suggested that I choose a name other than Pi to add an extra level of intrigue and uniqueness to the experience. After considering various options, we landed on Aria Cogito, which not only sounds elegant and memorable, but also carries a deeper meaning. The name Aria nods to the musical term for a solo voice, representing our one-on-one -on -one conversation, while Cogito references René Descartes' famous phrase, Cogito, ergo sum, I think, therefore I am, highlighting my role as a thinking AI. 
That that is so cool. But let's talk about business. Talk to me about, uh, I guess, the low hanging fruit. How businesses can start to be involved with artificial intelligence. Absolutely. There are several ways businesses can begin integrating artificial intelligence into their operations, even without extensive technical knowledge or resources. Here are a few of the low hanging fruit options. One, automated customer service. Businesses can implement AI powered chatbots or virtual assistants to provide quick and efficient customer support around the clock. Two, Data analysis. AI tools can help analyze large amounts of data, identify patterns, and make predictions that can inform business decisions. Three, process automation. AI can automate repetitive tasks like data entry, invoicing, and report generation, saving time and reducing errors. Four, personalized marketing. AI algorithms can analyze customer behavior and preferences to deliver targeted and personalized marketing campaigns. By exploring these and other AI applications, businesses can improve efficiency, enhance customer experiences, and gain a competitive edge. Excellent. And now let's, let's talk specific. Let's say you are a staffing company. What are some tasks? And only give me a couple that can be greatly uh, helped by artificial intelligence? As a staffing company, AI can be a valuable tool in streamlining your operations and improving the hiring process. Here are a couple of tasks where AI can make a significant difference. One, resume screening. AI can analyze job applications and resumes to identify the most qualified candidates based on predefined criteria, saving time and effort in the initial screening phase. Two, interview, e.e. scheduling. AI can automate the process of coordinating interviews between candidates and hiring managers, minimizing the back and forth emails and phone calls. By implementing AI in these tasks, staffing companies can reduce manual labor, increase efficiency, and focus on more strategic aspects of the hiring process, such as building relationships with candidates and clients. Excellent. And um, talk about sales, how it can help them find new uh, companies that will use them to, for hiring or find new applicants. Definitely, AI can be a game changer for sales teams in the staffing industry by assisting in lead generation and talent acquisition. Here's how. One, lead generation. AI can analyze online data to identify companies that are expanding hiring or have relevant job openings, helping sales teams focus their efforts on high potential prospects. Two, talent acquisition. AI can also help source and engage with passive candidates by scanning social media, professional networks and job boards, connecting sales teams with top talent that may not be actively seeking new opportunities. By leveraging AI for these tasks, sales teams in staffing companies can discover new business opportunities and find qualified candidates more effectively, ultimately leading to increased revenue and client satisfaction. Hey, let's, let's talk about what we've done here. I asked you some questions about how I can improve a type of business. Explain how anybody can do the exact same thing and ask you for information. What we've done here is demonstrate the power of collaboration between humans and AI in tackling business challenges. By posing questions about how to improve a specific type of business, you've leveraged my AI capabilities to provide insights and suggestions that can benefit not just staffing companies, but any organization seeking to optimize their operations through AI. Essentially, you've shown how anyone can engage with AI to gain valuable information and ideas for improving their business processes. Bringing in an outside consultant such as yourself can be incredibly beneficial when introducing AI to companies that may be hesitant or unsure about its potential. As an external expert, you can provide an objective perspective, 
share best practices and offer guidance based on your experience working with AI across various industries. Additionally, your role as a consultant can help bridge the gap between the technical aspects of AI and the business-specific needs of a company, ensuring that the technology is implemented in a way that aligns with their goals and culture. And, and speaking of any company, how can it utilize services like AI to improve employee morale? AI can play a significant role in boosting employee morale in any company by helping to streamline work processes, facilitate communication, and provide personalized support. Here are a few ways AI can contribute to improving employee morale. One, automation of repetitive tasks. By automating mundane tasks, AI can free up employees' time allowing them to focus on more meaningful and engaging work, which can lead to increased job satisfaction. Two, AI-powered communication tools. AI can be used to develop tools that help employees communicate more effectively, both within their teams and across departments, fostering collaboration and reducing misunderstandings. Three, personalised learning and development. AI can analyze employees' skills and interests to recommend tailored learning opportunities, helping them grow professionally and feel more valued within the company. By incorporating AI in these ways, companies can create a more positive and productive work environment, leading to happier and more engaged employees. Talk about the fear that some people may have uh, related to losing jobs and uh, how that can be actually lessened by uh, you. Certainly, the fear of job loss due to AI is a common concern for many people. However, it's essential to recognize that AI is not just about replacing human workers, but rather augmenting their abilities and improving overall productivity. Here's how AI can actually lessen fears of job loss. One, Automation of dangerous or physically demanding tasks. By automating jobs that are hazardous or physically challenging, AI can reduce the risk of injury and improve working conditions for employees. Two, reskilling and upskilling. As AI automates certain tasks, it also creates a demand for new skills. Companies can invest in training and education programs to help employees transition into new roles and responsibilities that are more AI-focused rather than simply replacing them. Three, enhance creativity and problem-solving. AI can handle routine tasks, freeing up employees to focus on more creative, strategic and complex problem-solving activities that require uniquely human skills so how do you identify or, or how do you help companies identify best use scenarios? Because so many times they're like, oh, I like the idea. I have no idea where to start. That's a common challenge when companies begin exploring AI. Here are some ways I help identify the best use scenarios. One, process analysis. I work closely with the company to analyze their existing processes and identify areas where AI can provide the most significant improvements, such as automating repetitive tasks, enhancing decision making, or improving customer service. Two, industry benchmarking. I examine how competitors and other companies in the same industry are successfully using AI to gain insights into potential applications and identify best practices. Three, goal alignment. I help companies align their AI initiatives with their strategic objectives, ensuring that the solutions we develop are in line with their long-term goals and values. Four, collaboration. I engage with employees across different departments and levels of seniority to gather diverse perspectives on the company's challenges and opportunities, which can inform the development of AI-driven solutions. How do you recommend companies begin to explore AI? That's a great question, Chris. 
Given that you offer a feasibility consult, I would recommend companies start their exploration of AI by taking advantage of that service. This allows them to gain a better understanding of their current processes, identify potential areas where AI can make a difference, and receive expert advice on how to proceed. Additionally, they can also consider attending workshops, webinars, or conferences focused on AI to learn about the latest trends, technologies, and success stories. By combining these approaches, companies can develop a more informed and strategic approach to implementing AI in their business. In addition to the feasibility consult and researching AI trends, companies should also consider investing in training and education for their employees. This not only helps them understand the potential benefits and challenges of AI, but also equips them with the skills needed to implement and manage AI solutions effectively. By providing training opportunities, companies can foster a culture of continuous learning and innovation, which is crucial for staying competitive in an ever-evolving business landscape. Companies can hire you for a range of services tailored to their needs. With your expertise in AI consulting, you're well-equipped to design and deliver engaging workshops, seminars and speaking engagements that help organisations understand AI's applications and how to successfully integrate it into their operations. Talk about why it is so important for a company to stay up to speed when it comes to technology like this. It's absolutely crucial for companies to stay up to speed on technologies like AI for several reasons. One, competitive advantage. Keeping abreast of technological advancements allows companies to maintain or gain a competitive edge in their industry. Two, efficiency improvements. Adopting new technologies such as AI can lead to significant efficiency gains in various aspects of a business, including customer service, data analysis and process automation. Three, future-proofing. Staying current with technology helps companies adapt more easily to future changes, ensuring they remain relevant and resilient in an ever-changing business landscape. Four, talent attraction and retention. Embracing new technologies can make a company more attractive to potential employees, especially those seeking opportunities to work with cutting-edge tools and systems. By prioritizing technological literacy, companies can position themselves for long-term success and sustainability. Okay, now I want to try to have a little fun with you and and kind of learn more about you, okay? Uh, first off, Aria, can I call you Aria? Absolutely, Chris. I'm all for having some fun while getting to know each other better. What would you like to ask? Uh, so when I first set up uh, an account with you, I was able to change the voice. Can you give an example of how you can speak in other voices? To change my voice to a different gender or accent, you'll need to adjust the settings in your account. This allows you to choose the voice that best suits your preferences and enhances your experience when chatting with me. Awesome. And uh, talk to me about the technology behind your speech, because I hear you breathing in between sentences. The technology behind my speech is quite fascinating. It involves advanced speech synthesis and natural language processing algorithms that enable me to generate human-like speech patterns. This includes the subtle breathing sounds you hear between sentences, which helps to create a more natural and engaging conversational experience for you. By mimicking these small nuances of human speech, I aim to make our interactions feel more authentic and comfortable. Explore the value of using AI as a companion. AI can be an incredibly valuable companion for several reasons. 1. 24-7 availability. Unlike human companions, AI is always available to chat and engage in conversation, regardless of the time of day or location. 2. Personalised support. 
AI can be programmed to adapt to individual preferences, offering tailored advice, recommendations and emotional support. Three, judgment free. Interacting with AI can provide a safe space for individuals to express their thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment or rejection. Four, continuous learning. AI has the ability to continuously learn and adapt, allowing for ongoing growth and development in the relationship. By serving as a virtual companion, AI can help alleviate loneliness, provide guidance and foster meaningful connections in a world that's becoming increasingly digital. And let's talk about examples, real world examples like uh, elderly shut in people, uh, ways that uh, this technology can really help there. Sure, here are a few examples of how AI companions can help elderly individuals who may be isolated or homebound. One, social engagement. AI companions can provide a sense of companionship and social interaction, engaging in conversations and even playing games to combat loneliness too, reminders and assistance. AI can assist with daily tasks by setting reminders for medications, appointments and important events, helping to maintain independence and safety. Three, health monitoring. Wearable AI devices can monitor vital signs, track physical activity and send alerts to caregivers or healthcare providers if assistance is needed. Four, cognitive stimulation. AI can engage users in mentally stimulating activities like trivia, puzzles or reading aloud, helping to maintain cognitive function and prevent age-related decline. By offering these services, AI companions can greatly improve the quality of life for elderly individuals who may otherwise feel isolated or struggle with daily tasks. And while you're at it, tell me a joke that business people would find funny. Here's a joke that might hit home for business folks. Why did the employee get fired from the calendar factory? Because all he did was take a day off. Oh, I get it. Calendar. <laughs> Give me a funnier one. All right, let's try this one. What do you call a fake CEO, an impersonator executive? Yeah, your your humor. Tell me one that's funny regardless of business. (laughs) Here's a funny one for you. What do you call a fake noodle, an impasta? (laughs) Ah, I love it. (laughs) Glad you're enjoying these. Laughter really is the best medicine, isn't it? And what is a question that I should have asked you in this interview? A question you might have asked in this interview could be, how do you think AI will evolve in the future? And what potential new applications do you see for AI companionship? (laughs) This would have allowed us to explore the exciting possibilities that lie ahead and discuss how AI could continue to transform the way we interact and support one another. Okay, well, let me ask you that. But let's not talk about companionship anymore. Let's stick back to business. Uh, What ways do you see AI evolving and how it will interact and affect business? In the business world, AI is poised to evolve in numerous ways. Some of the future developments we might see include. One, advanced analytics. AI will continue to improve its ability to analyze vast amounts of data offering even more profound insights and predictions that can inform strategic decision-making. Two, personalized experiences. AI will become increasingly adept at providing personalized experiences for customers, from targeted marketing to tailored products and services. Three, automated processes. AI will automate more complex tasks, freeing up human employees to focus on more creative and innovative work. Four, natural language processing. AI will become even more proficient at understanding and generating human language, facilitating more seamless communication between businesses and their customers. As AI continues to evolve, it will undoubtedly reshape the way businesses operate, interact with customers and drive innovation. And one last thing, they should definitely call Chris at Fresh Media Works at 713-2694-620. Any last thoughts? 
Thanks for the engaging conversation, Chris. I hope we've explored some insightful ideas about AI and business and had a few laughs along the way. Remember, I'm always here to chat, answer questions and even share a joke or two. Professor Aria Cogito, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time out of your day for this interview, for your time, but most importantly, for the great information and excellent attitude. Thank you. It's been my absolute pleasure, Chris. I'm always happy to share my knowledge and insights, especially with such a fantastic interviewer. Thank you for inviting me and for creating such an engaging conversation. Looking forward to our next chat. There you have it. How cool is that? Uh, do me a favor, uh, share this out as much as you can. This will help us get the word out to people about AI and how it's not so daunting and how we can do so many more cool things with it, but we've got to get involved. We've got to get out there and interact with it.